Hey guys, welcome to a new video in the Cubase tips tutorial series. This is a video request from you because some of you told me that the solo button does not what they expect him to do. So this is a very quick video about the solo button. And it's about this function here. So I have this track in solo and now I want to change to the other track and I just select the track and it changes automatically to solo. But some of you told me Cubase doesn't do that because maybe there's something wrong in their preferences. So if you want to have that function, you have to go to Cubase and then to preferences. And then you go to the section project and mix console. And now you see this function here, enable solo on selected track. You have to enable this because if you disable it, what I do now to show you, you can see the solo button here, this function won't work anymore. So let's enable it again. Let's try it again now. Perfectly, you can see it changes to solo. So now if I want to listen to more than one track in solo, there are also several options. For example, you can hold the shift button and just select another track as well. But there's also the possibility that you hold shift on your keyboard and just select the solo button. In general, if you want to enable or disable the solo function, you can just press S on your keyboard and then it turns the track you've selected into solo or it doesn't. So that's all about the solo button. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up to this video. And if you want to learn more about me, I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you. Bye.